Welcome to your next module. So what we're going to look at this week is some rivers and flooding. So of course our next hazard will be flooding, but what we're going to do is kind of what we've been doing in the modules is the initial kind of information that I'm going to give you is going to be some background on rivers and river systems, kind of how they work and evolve. So the first part of the lecture here that's in the PowerPoint like normal and the video is going to cover the basics, right? Because we, we, like always, we have to give you some knowledge about how rivers work. So then you can understand the flooding issues that as, are associated with different types of rivers. And then, of course, talk about how can we prevent that. So that's kind of how the main lecture will be presented to you. So information about river systems, the different types. And what we'll come to find out is there's two main types of floods that we can kind of throw into the buckets. And those are illustrated by these YouTube videos that I've attached here. And that is, we have what are called flash floods. And if you live in Arizona, you're probably aware of these, right? These are fairly short lived, pretty intensive kind of events. And typically they're in a more arid environment where you don't get a lot of rainfall very often, a lot of input into the river system. But then all of a sudden you get just a whole crap load all at once. And then that can initiate a flash flood. Whereas let's say back east where there's much more kind of a it's consistent rainfall, let's say, right? So the river's used to a certain amount of input. So it takes a big, big event. And these regional flooding are events that kind of ramp up pretty slow, peak, and then ramp down pretty slow, where flash floods peak quick and ramp down pretty quick. And so there's some illustrations here you can take a quick look at to see kind of the difference. And of course, it's something that we'll talk about in the main lecture here. So that's kind of what we're going to do for the main lecture. For the article, I'm actually going to have you read about a big regional flood. And the Mississippi River, of course, is a huge river system that, you know, moves through the center of the country there. And it, it takes water from all over the place. And there was a big flood in 1993. So you can read a little bit about that. And now a little something different for the homework. So the point is here, I know that we're talking about flooding, but what I want you to do for your homework assignment is I want you to find a geologic hazard. Now it can be a flooding hazard if you can find that, but certainly it can be an earthquake. It can be a volcano. It can be a landslide. Uh, so any of these things that you can find, and then I want you to basically summarize that for me. And so if you, we go to the, the, homework here you can see this is what i want from you so i'm not looking for you know an, an mla uh, english paper from you what i'm looking for is that you can find me an article that's related to what we're talking about in this entire class which is geologic disasters that you can find an article you can summarize it for me and then you can answer the questions that are kind of listed here right and this is this idea of why was it so bad? So we're looking for something that has an impact. I do not want an article that says, hey, there was an earthquake and no, no damage happened and nothing happened. Right. We're looking for impact on society. So then I want you to explain why will it happen again? And what was the response? If some of this information is not in the article, you can certainly speculate on what right especially for this part 2c here where it says what was the response right and then for part 3 this is where you're going to tell me your knowledge you've learned about these hazards right so if it's an earthquake all right tell me the plate boundary the stresses why is it there why is it happening there if it's a volcano what type of volcano is it why is it occurring there is it a hot spot is it a subduction zone Right. If it's a flood, why is it happening there? What's the climate there? What's the soils like? What's the shape of the river like? Right. These are the things I want you to explain in part three. And then, of course, some prevention methods. So you have latitude to pick whatever you want, as long as it has a significant impact on society. And uh, then you can just go ahead and you can bullet list these. Boom, boom, boom. Just list them as answers or you can write it in a, in a paragraph form, whichever you'd like. So good with either of those. 
And then that'll be your main assignments. And then of course we do have a flooding lab. So as, as always, there's a tutorial here and it should walk you through some of this information like recurrence intervals is introduced in the main lecture. This is how often big floods happen. So you can go through that. But of course the tutorial here will help you work your way through that lab assignment. Okay. So that's what we're doing this module in flooding. And as always, if you have some questions about what you're supposed to do specifically for the homework assignment or anything else that you uh, need to ask me about, please don't hesitate to contact me and I'll help you out.